Uh, and there's a lot of things that have happened in my life that completely changed the way I perceive life and the way I pursue things. Yeah, absolutely. I carry a lot of weight on my shoulder. The bad thing about it is that it's useless to me and, uh, and is a burden. I carry like a giant backpack with a computer and that ridiculous like Mac charger and a water bottle. Yeah, I like have a, just, I'm, just, I'm a beast of burden. If I had to leave something behind right now, it'd probably be the pearls. Leaving something behind is very different from releasing it. Guess I'll keep the husband and maybe I'll leave a bag. But yeah, I mean, I'm feeling the weight of having to speak with my father on Thursday and then tell him more about who I really am. Um, so I'm feeling that weight. I guess trying to release just like that I get to be myself and I don't need anything from him. No, nah, actually 2016 is cool, man. Shit, I got a lot of cool stuff going. So, no, nah, I'm good. I, I usually leave like two, the stuff that happened in the past, like the last year over. So 2015, you know, anything that happened bad, I try to like work towards it, not coming over to 2016. So I think I'm doing a good job. So I wish I could release my car note. That's that's <laughs> That car doesn't work. The, like the mechanic messed my engine up, so and then he like skipped town to Alabama. It, it is still this day my most prized possession. Um, of course, I'm married, and you know I, I own a property. But to me, if I were to leave something that would, you know, that would I would be able to share to whoever will receive it, it would be my guitar. But of course, I'm talking about tins of cat food and um, bags of rice. Uh, as far as emotions are concerned, I really don't think it's a good idea to carry those around too much. So I've got like this like weight of the past, which is not like, it's not productive, um, but I can't shake it either. Like with her, when my mom was passing away, uh, then since the beginning, when I met the doctor and he told me, your mom is going to leave for six and a half months, that, that was a very shocking moment. And, I carried that secret for uh, maybe two days. I really hold things near and dear to me. If like someone's upset with me, even if it's a complete stranger, or like, yeah, or if there's some sort of pressure, or if there's no time and the sun's going down, I don't know. During the war in Yugoslavia, when when I was on my own um, in England, when uh, you know you're worried about your your immediate family, your friends, and that was a little bit tough. So much of the weight of the city I feel on my shoulders right now because I'm constantly thinking about how different the city is and how different Mardi Gras is. So as I see people, you know, running through the streets in costume, I can't help but, like, compare that to what Mardi Gras was like before the storm. Yes, yeah, I tried to, to do everything, you know? Uh, yeah, it's too much, and I took a lot of responsibilities and, and ideas and concepts and hard work, and I want to do everything. I know there's got to be something in my bag that I don't want to carry around anymore, but on my person right now, I don't think, mm -mm. I like everything on my person right now. Hopefully they don't just take it or sell it on eBay, obviously. <laughs> In general, I carry Felix on my shoulders, um, but other than that, no, I'm pretty, walk around pretty lightly, I guess. I like art history, so I want to create a couple of cool pieces of like, you know, that would be remembered, so, you know, try to like, you know, trying to like, play off, you know, build off of that, you know, can you do a piece? You don't try to make, make something like, that would control the masses and, and you know, hysteria of liking your work. But, you know, if you create something that's, like, interesting, you know, it's definitely cool. I do have a little gym bag thing that for, like, the first seven months of owning it, I didn't realize that I could just wear it on my back. It was weird. It was, I was carrying it around my hand the entire time. Yeah, I just felt like the experience I was having inside of my body could not be contained by my body. And I didn't know how to like, keep, like, doing what I was, like, supposed to do because of that. 
So I have to do taxes today, so I don't want to do that. I have to meet someone to talk about that. Yeah, but I'm, it's, you know, there's things that I have to do and I, yeah, this, I don't want to do taxes. If it's something I can't physically or mentally accomplish on my own, so wrong answer, yes. Is that burden enough? May I go to the restroom? I couldn't, I couldn't shake, shake it off. I couldn't shake it free. And was, you know, hanging out with, you know, a group of, of perfectly, like, nice people. And I just, like, I could not get into the groove. I feel like I, my, my problem would be like, oh, man, uh, you know, you get a job, you won't have that problem. Um, I think just, like, trying to, like, maintain a lot of stuff being an artist, you know. So, I mean. A lot of stuff that comes with the territory of trying to do the, you know, do the work and try to progress. Yeah. I can think of a time that I've had too much to drink and too much to eat, but I don't know that I've had too much to bear. Physical sponge to extract a mental illness on a purely transcendental level. Yes, uh, I would leave my dirty handkerchief, which I believe it's in my left pocket. Although I'm learning how to let it go. Mm -hmm. I can feel it physically in my shoulders, like I'll be like, let go.